Howdy folks, uh, I'd like to tell, uh, tell you something about solving parabola with imaginary roots. This is uh, supposed to be a parabola, well, not, maybe not a perfect one. This is the x and, uh, uh, x and y axis, and this is the basic formula. Uh, Px, P1x, parabola 1x, is a x squared plus bx plus c. Now, suppose that I have a parabola with no uh, real roots, but imaginary roots. Well, how to solve that? I mean, uh, what I can do, basically, and that's the basic um, idea which I'm presenting, is that there's always uh, some kind of line you can draw here and at a certain uh, y is d. So you have a line and which intersects the parabola at at least two points, or if you go here, at one point. Depends on what what uh, what d you take. Well, but you can draw a whole bunch of lines. So there actually is a bunch of uh, a whole bunch of, uh, of of solutions to this problem. What you have done is created artificial zero points here and here. Let's call them P and U. So basically, what you have is the solution to this is then T, okay, uh, X minus T times um, X minus U and then plus the D that you introduced. So you have a parabola which is, has no real uh, solutions. It has imaginary solutions. So uh, what is it? Uh, K plus I L. That's the, uh, one of the solutions. Kill. No, sorry. Well, that's a wrong. <laughs> no, I, we don't kill. Um, let, let's find some other. Uh, y uh, plus Z E Z. Okay. That sounds so nice. Um, and so that's, that's one of the solution. Um, but the thing is, you can also express it without using imaginary numbers in x minus t. And t is are artificially created by just drawing a line uh, somewhere where so that it creates two points. And then t is one. Uh, actually, it's t. t um, j and u j because if I change the line and it goes with d j uh, if you take d uh, the, um, d j then you have uh, um, a t j and uh, u j but if you change the d the d one then you have a, a different t j a t uh, d j uh, well j uh, whatever call it n and u n uh, so it depends on uh, uh, you have x minus t plus j plus j if you take dj and you have n times x minus u n plus d n this is d and you have here d n let's say so if you have uh, a line dj, then you have um, uh, solutions uh, uh, t minus uh, x minus tj times uh, x minus uj plus dj. And if you take uh, the line uh, y is dn, then you have a solution um, x minus tn times x minus un plus dn. Well, this is in general the, the basic idea of how I intend to solve the, the also the higher polynomials. Because the same trick goes, and of course you can do it with a straight line, but you can also do it with a non-straight line, which has the formula, uh, let's say, uh, S plus, uh, Sx plus T y is sx, s times x plus t. 
So you have the same space, and then you create an artificial point here and an artificial point here. You can subtract the whole thing, and so. But yeah, why use a non-straight line compared to a straight line? Well, um, in the next session, uh, um, we can going to see that that you can do the same trick with um, higher order polynomials which have non-zero components, like this. You can draw, instead of a straight line, I mean, here, here you can draw a straight line, but not all points will, will be taken here, because then you have a bump here that you don't take. So here you can do draw a parabola, which do, do take into account all, uh, where, where it, it possibly can uh, cross the zero line. And you create artificial zero points by doing it like this. These are all artificial. Here, two very close together, and that one. By having a parabola, p2x, and this line is uh, a polynomial. Polynomial is well a to the x uh, time the proof n plus b x uh, n minus one plus etc etc plus c. And here we have another uh, k x squared plus uh, l x plus m. And then you can do, you can actually do the same trick, uh, but then with a higher order polynomial. I mean, an n. It doesn't matter which which n is, as long um, as you can create artificial zero points. It is maybe one or two. Or yeah, and you have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's a polynomial of n is 10. In this case, if you uh, subtract from this polynomial, which you of course know, and you subtract this parabola, this kx squared plus uh, lx plus m, you can subtract it, create artificial zero points, you can find them out. If you have, I mean, if you have a, uh, a polynomial, you can always find them out by approaching this point with a parabola, as I showed you earlier. And here you can create a parabola, and you can find this point very, very, very accurately, like this. This. I showed you the method before in one of the previous movies. So you can approach each zero point with another parabola, as I showed you. And then you can uh, uh, convert it back to solve this, para this uh, polynomial, 10 to the uh, x to the, the this is the, of the 10th order in, the, in this situation case. And then you can uh, add it, the parabola back again, and then get the original line again. And I showed you this before in uh, one of the movies I made, and that is uh, here. This one doing it yourself, solving higher order polynomials with which has uh, a plus i b roots. The polynomial has normally uh, 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 imaginary roots, but you solve it uh, with parabola, so you uh, you have you end up with non uh, imaginary roots. And I call it a polynomial transformation by using uh, subtracting and adding again up uh, a parabola. Uh, so, well, this, this is the basic idea. I mean, in a very simple way, it's done with parabola. Just uh, draw a line, and then you have to add it up. This is the solution for that. And the same principle goes, but then using a parabola instead of a straight line for a higher order polynomial. And then higher is, um, which you can use, higher than 4. Because uh, a polynomial with uh, n is 4, with the order of 4, you can solve it exactly analytically. And I heard that, uh, I understood that um, polynomials with higher order than 4, you cannot solve analytically anymore. But this is a way to solve them anyhow, without using imaginary numbers. Of course, you get a whole family, because I mean, can, I, I can also draw a, par a parabola which lays a little higher and so creating a different uh, po uh, parabola but also a different polynomial but nonetheless you create a family of solutions for higher order um, polynomials 
and solving it like I showed you before, uh, the zero points. And then you can solve the whole thing. Okay, this is what I want to share. Uh, let me do it in this way. Uh, so. Yeah, this is what I want to share uh, with you. I hope you understand. If you have questions about it, um, I hope I can answer them. And if not, maybe some other, uh, other person can help them. I can answer them. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Thanks. Bye bye.